surprised. I don't know if you caught this or saw this. Mark Cuban sold the Dallas Mavericks, bro. He sold his majority stake in the Mavericks. And this has been like a super talked about topic because there's a bunch of like little conspiracy theories. I mean, first and foremost, this dude bought this shit for two hundred million and sold it for three point five billion, which is crazy. Of course, of course, that's the best thing about buying a franchise. But before we get into that, are we sure that this is this is confirmed that he or is it a conspiracy is it not sorry not no good. so he's still it, he still has a minority sell it or no no no. he for sure sold it he's told the majority stake he's still a part owner okay but okay. he's not a major owner anymore well, well, what do you think is going on let's be let's you know so bro the reason that this shit really doesn't make sense bro is because look the nba is actually about to get another tv deal which is going to increase the value of these franchises even more right okay Steph Curry, just Steph Curry being in Golden State, bro, they're the most valued franchise in the NBA right now, okay. right? This recent success that they've had. So it really doesn't make sense because the Mavericks have Luka, which is a 23-year-old superstar, right? Okay. He's going to make them at least a billion more dollars. Okay. Not to mention he makes them like a global team, too, because Luka's foreign. It really doesn't make sense that Mark Cuban would sell the team now, and he's leaving Shark Tank. So the conspiracy theory is that he's going to run for president, even though he shot that down. What I think is they're trying to legalize gambling in Texas. Okay. Sports gambling. And the thing is, he's he's sold his team to like a, a like owners of the casino districts in Vegas. Okay. So really, I think Mark Cuban's trying to get into gambling. He even bought a small town outside of Dallas where I think he's going to set up casinos. And you can't be a majority owner of a team and run gambling because then everyone's going to say your shit's rigged. 100%. I'm going to tell you this. Look, yeah. the thing is about these guys like Mark Cuban, uh, Mr. Wonderful, these these top businessmen that own a lot of businesses, bro, you can come up with a billion different conspiracies yeah. off the bat. I'm going to tell you what I genuinely think is going on. I think Mark is down bad, bro. I, I, let me tell you why. The first rumor was that out of all the other sharks on Shark Tank, he was one of the only sharks where every business he's invested in is net negative right now, right? Okay. And when, when they asked him about it, they said, Mark, your businesses are net negative, bro. What's going on? He said, oh, well, you know, oh, well, so, you you know, that's that's the earnings, but we're still breaking even, making up excuses. Anytime somebody does that, you already know that they're fucking, their businesses are doing terrible, right? So that, that explains it immediately why he's being kicked off of, or why he's leaving, you know, because... Guys like that don't get kicked off. They get they leave, right? Yeah. They leave. They, they, you, they, leave. they part ways. Hundred percent. Mutually, <laughs> we, mutually we part, part ways. ways. AKA get your ass. AKA out of here. if you were a POC, it'd be let go, right? But and then as far as uh, the Mavericks, why he would sell that is because one, that's one of his biggest franchises and make a lot of money. Also, he's shifting his attention to the pharmaceutical sales where. He's claiming that okay, he's really changing the world and society, and that he's doing this for the good. I promise you guys, once he gets the opportunity to play with the big boys, he's going to he's gonna sell the he's drugs gonna for the same it. amount that every other company is doing. He's going to release yeah. an opioid that gets motherfuckers hooked just the same way. 100%. Yeah. He, he's going on podcasts explaining how he saved many lives by selling, you know, the medication for a lot a lot cheaper for a fraction of the price. That's because that's what every business does to play. You start you, low. You can't come in and sell it at the same, you know, the, why would I buy your medication if I can go to the I can't the release a brands? fitness product right now and be like, Lululemon's prices. Though. It's just, the, like, you know, and he's like, it's, it's for legacy. This is why I'm doing it. it it's just not true, bro. Like, you're a so, capitalist. You care about money. We know that. You know. So, so quick, you know, qu follow-up question here. What would you think, hypothetically, if Mark? What would you think of Mark Cuban as a presidential candidate? I feel like he's just a dumbed down Donald Trump. Similar values, probably a little bit less aggressive on the way he speaks. Yeah, no, I think I think I agree with you because uh, here's the thing, bro. When you want to put like a capitalist businessman uh, into office, I want to be real with you. The main thing you're gonna want out of because he's gonna do the same thing as Trump. He's gonna help the economy, and I don't, you know, not to get too political, but. We need a man with strong values. Like, I'm going to be real with you, bro. Even if I don't agree with the with the president's values, if I know he stands on something. If he stands on business, well, if bro. If he stands on business, bro, I'm going to be like, I might not agree with you, but I respect you. And, you know, other countries are going to know that we, I mean, we stand, I America's standing on fucking